The technical challenge that wrecked ECG's network escalated so quickly. The situation started with one customer not able to purchase prepaid credit. Vendors were not left out of the frustration, while business owners started feeling uneasy to meet customer expectations as their primary source of power failed to activate. From one press statement to the other, the power distributor apologized to his customers and assured of his commitment to fix the challenge. Many customers thronged the various offices of ECG across the country seeking answers for the past days. At a press conference on October 3, 2022, the managing director of Electricity Company of Ghana, Samuel Dubik Mahama, apologized for the inconvenience caused to their customers. He assured Ghanaians of the company's resolve to bounce back to full-scale operation by close of day. I'd like to take this opportunity to apologize to all customers of the Electricity Company of Ghana who attempted to purchase power and were not able to purchase power. The company admits its fault. The company admits that it was not able to deliver on a service. But the company also at this point would like to let all its customers know that most vending stations are up and running. I use the word most because we still have some few challenges in the Ashanti region of that we are working on and hopefully by close of day today it will be resolved. We also want to tell our cherished customers that all those who have a problem should use their their redress channels through PURC and see us and then we'll handle it on a case by case basis. Anybody whose power comes up and they have a problem can visit our nearest customer service office with their, li their last purchase receipt and then we would go through and do the necessary reconciliation. We'd like to thank all of them for their patience. We'd like to thank them for their, their belief in the company through these trying times. The company has gone through something that is, is still coming out of and we just did some time. And we believe we've managed it very well within the time frame and within how we have reacted. And this has shown how resilient the company is, how well resourced and how well staffed the company is. And we want the good people of Ghana who enjoy our service to know that we shall continue to serve them and do our best to give them the quality service that they deserve and they need. Some people, including the Member of Parliament for Ningu Pram Pram, Sam George, perceived the situation to be a sabotage and a system hack to make the MD unpopular. Mr. Muhammad discounted the assertion, saying there was no evidence to suggest the same. To be very honest, I, I cannot confirm or deny whether it was a hack. All I can say is that it's led to the necessary investigations for us to do the right thing and to make sure that the right things are established for the good people of Ghana. On a lighter note about the Sam George situation, I really don't want to say much about it because he's a well-respected man and he has his views and I know I don't really want to speak to it. That It makes it a bit difficult for me. In relation to revenue loss, as far as the over one week system breakdown might have caused the company, Mr. Mahama indicated that it will be made known when the system swings back to full operation. He cautioned customers who took advantage of the situation to connect power illegally to reverse their meters to normal connection before the tax force gets them. On the issue of compensation, Mr. Mahama said not all customers will receive it. He explained why. I would entreat everybody that the system is up and running now. So if you've done anything of such, please call the person who did it for you and, return and reverse it. Because right after all of this, we will go back and embark on our illegal connection, uh, what do you call it, campaign, and make sure that everybody does right by the company. Come bring your receipt to the nearest customer service center and we'll do a reconciliation and we'll fix the problem. As to the compensations, I said, it will be managed on a case-by-case -case basis because I cannot, we cannot do it across board because every, every situation is peculiar to any, every individual. The managing director of the electricity company of Ghana, Samuel Dubik Mahama, has assured the public and their clients of the company's resolve to restore its operation totally by close of day today and to ensure that every household or customer is able to access prepaid at every district office. My name is Fred Duho reporting for City News.